This is the 27th annual uh, North Carolina Mountain State Fair, and uh, we want to showcase the best of Western North Carolina. The return of the fair, <laughs> the rides, <laughs> the food, <laughs> the chance to learn about North Carolina's number one industry. It's so important that we educate people today about the importance of agriculture. Especially our youth. Hold on. That's where the Western North Carolina Dairy Feeder Steer Project comes in. The project began in 2014, and there was a, a decline in the shows here at the Mountain State Fair, particularly the beef feeder steer shows. And a lot of it was because, you know, a lot of our kids aren't growing up on family farms anymore. They don't have access to be able to house a show animal. <laughs> The project lets children ages 8 to 18 apply to show purebred Holsteins. Those accepted get hands-on training. Basically show them this is what you're going to have to do. We have a calf there, we bottle feed it, show them what, that they're going to have to do that twice a day, every day, you know, until the calf can be weaned around six weeks. Then they're sent home with a dairy cow and a starter kit. So they get a bottle, uh, they get a bag, tow dollar stuff in, they get a rope halter, they get a bag of starter feed, and a bag of milk replacer. Some participants are in 4-H and FFA. Others have no real connection to agriculture. Either way, interest is always high. We've had as many as 40. I think this year we have about 19 participants. I love it. Among the 19 this year, Casey Jordan Bradshaw and sisters Lily and Abby Lancaster. I love cows, especially bottle feeding them. Like, it's my favorite thing because I think it really, it makes a connection between you and the animal. And um, I just think it's a good experience. We had bottle raised calves the year before, but not with the program, and we really liked it, so we wanted to get into showing. So we decided to do the program, see if we liked it, and we did. So this is our second year doing it, and we've Enjoyed it lots. This is my first year, and I love I like cows a lot. So I was just like, okay, I want to try this. I never bottle fed anything before, so this, it was an experience to bottle feed too. Along the way, the girls learn their steers' personalities and create bonds with them. It's a strong, very good connection. You grow to learn all their little quirks and what you need to do with them to help them out, and it's like how you can listen friend. to them. Mine's very clingy. He's always wanting attention. Parents say the girls also learn important life lessons. Uh, it teaches responsibility, empathy, um, caring. I have seen them grow up and mature. <laughs> they feed it. They have to doctor if anybody's sick. They have to um, care for it every day, cleaning their stalls, giving them water brush them and of course. Annette Ensley has seen positive changes in Lily and Abby over the past two years. They last year won an award, um, the two girls did because of their attitudes, having great attitudes. So they've just learned so much. I, I can't even put it into words. It's just a wonderful, wonderful program that teaches the kids so much. The program lasts two years. Some of them will graduate on and continue to show livestock. We hope that they'll continue on in the agriculture, but if nothing else, they have an appreciation for, uh, for animal agriculture. Participants say it's worth it. It's great, there's good people. It's easy if you have questions, you can easily reach out to somebody and get help. There's like, there's so many resources out there. If you're just worried that you don't have the money for it, you can't do this. There's so many people who help you. I think that's the best part about it, is there's so many good people that are helping. 